All right, everybody, welcome back to another BNB video. So today we're actually doing something special for you guys on the channel. We've got the fishing reels here. As you guys might have saw in my last video with my girlfriend, I actually had to cut this reel right here, giving me issues. Um, it was locking up. It was just giving both of us really bad issues, and, and it was kind of a rough time fixing it. Luckily, I had some bar and chain oil in the truck that I actually poured in there. Not really sure if that's very good for the reel, but I just went ahead and sent it and poured it on the reel because that's all I really had, and we wanted to fish with the reel right then and there. So now now guys, I'm just gonna be kind of taking this reel apart, uh, showing you guys how to clean it up and how to uh, fix a locked up reel like this. Um, I also picked up the Shimano Corrado, uh, just a regular, not the DC, because I'm not a huge fan of the DC. Um, but if I were to buy a DC, I'd strictly use it for fresh water, not really anything salt water. I, th I believe that's the reason why the Corrado D or the Shimano SLX DC broke was because I took it into salt water. It destroyed the digital chip in it. Let's hop right into it here, guys. I don't wanna do too much talking. I wanna go ahead and get right into the action. Let's go ahead and take this reel apart and I wanna show you guys where to put the oil and where it's gonna clean it the most. So let's hop right in here, stay tuned. All right, folks, so we've got the Shimano Sedona here. Um, I'm gonna be leaving all these reel links if you guys wanna go purchase these exact reels, um, purchase the oil, I'm gonna leave all the links down in the description down below where you guys can go buy them. Let's get right into it here. I still got a weight on this guy. I got this oil that the Shimano SLX came with or the uh, Corrado came with um, and I'm just gonna be dabbing it in here, reel off here. I've taken this to the coast before and it's gotten pretty dirty. Um, so I'm just gonna be pulling this off here and just kind of seeing what the strat is. It's gonna be pretty nasty, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna go ahead and pull the drag off as well. There we go. All right, we got the drag off. Okay, next I'm gonna start by, I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and pull this line off, guys. I'm just using this Anza knife to kind of cut everything. I recommend scissors, but uh, right now I just kind of like a knife. Okay, so we're just gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this off. Go ahead and wrap it around my fingers. Just gonna break that off. Line here, we're gonna slide that off nice and tight. I'm hoping I can get this back on, guys, but if not, I'm just gonna go ahead and trash that. Then head on over to the sink now and just kind of clean this all up. And I'm just gonna kind of investigate what we're going on here. So let's head on over to the sink. Reel off of the rod so that way I can kind of just strictly deal with the reel. Shit here. That way I can set my reel in there. My reel is some soap and water. Kind of get this job done here. Go ahead and dump this reel in here. Okay, so I see you guys right off rip. We got some rust down here. This bearing's a little bit loose. I don't know if that's supposed to be loose or not. There's also a lot of gunk and dirt in here, and there's a lot of gunk and dirt in here. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of scrub it. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of clean this up here. Put it back together. Right, roommates awake. Sauce and Dawson has arrived. Y'all seen him in the last Mind previous videos. No. Real works like a champ. Let's put this guy on there. Works like a champ and champ. Gonna need to put oil on this guy, on that guy, kind of everywhere. Oh, and uh, also, guys, I broke my rod tip too. Guys, so. As you guys can see right there, I literally just did this right now. This is on my, for my Shimano Corrado. So we're gonna have to go actually buy a new rod. I think we're gonna go buy one today. I'm not sure though. That way I can kind of, cause I'm going to the coast, or I'm going to South Padre next week. I'm gonna get another video for you guys on this guy. Guys, okay, so we got the oil right here. This little, this little guy. Uh, just like a couple drops on that bitch. A couple drops on here. I haven't oiled this reel ever, so. <laughs> so we're just kind of keeping it oily right now. We're just gonna go a little extra. I think I'm fucking out of oil though. I can take our knife here and just, oh shit, get that clean off. All right guys, so I'm just gonna be uh, tightening up the screws here, giving them a little twist and twist. If it keeps raining. Uh -oh. We got the reel here. As you guys can see, we oiled it up with a little Shimano oil here, but I'm gonna actually, I'll probably go buy some oil or something from Bass Pro today and just kind of finish it off. I'm not gonna do it in this, this video, but that's just kind of how you clean up a reel, um, get it from not locking anymore, being able to reel it all, to being able to fully reel, put some new line on this bad boy. Um, but in the next video, guys, I'm actually gonna be buying a, another rod here because as you guys can see, broke the tip off. Concluding out this video, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe down below. 
We got Sauce and Dawson. The back here, you guys have seen him. And the last video, or not last video, last couple of videos. CK, he's gonna be actually helping me buy a new rod in the next video. Wamping a, uh, what's that? A cheese sandwich? Yeah, cheese. Just, cheese, cheese. just cheese sandwich. She's like that. Oh, and uh, we'll oh, guys, yeah. go ahead and catch you guys on another Bass and Bucks episode. Make sure to watch the next one. It'll be up here or down there. Peace out, fellas.